And we are set to watch Shannon Hohenshue, and I liked what uh, Beavers coach Jim Turpin had to say about uh, getting her here to Corvallis. What did he say? He said the reason... The the way he got her here was he was the only coach who could pronounce her name and spell it correctly. So she decided to come here. <laughs> well, you, you must have been able to relate to that a little bit. I can. Shannon is a very hard worker. All the Oregon State coaches say she is just a joy to, to train. Double back somersault. She's a tall competitor, so it's difficult to do some of those tumbling stunts. Five foot five, sophomore. is uh, not her strongest. It's not, but uh, Jim Turpin said that she just improves every day because she's such a hard worker. Getting her breath for the last tumbling run. Double, uh, one and a half twist. Didn't quite make it all the way around, but she covered up well. Coach Jim Turpin, pleased with that routine. Getting ready for the last tumbling pass here. Round off, back handspring. Watch how many times she goes around. One and a half times and lands it. Now, Oregon State, uh, I'll tell you what, they are coming into the Pac-10s with the right momentum. They set a number of scoring records a week ago uh, here at Gill in that victory over the Washington Husties. And after three rotations, uh, no surprise there. UCL leading the Pac. Perhaps what is a little bit surprising, Nancy, is that margin. It is quite a margin. Of course, we're, some of the schools didn't quite fin their score. Had, their second event wasn't scheduled in there, so we'll have to see after the next rotation. Shannon equaling her uh, career best on the floor exercise, 9.35, as we get set to watch Linda Pierce of Oregon State, sophomore from Seattle. Something wrong with her music. Linda was last.